Dr. Bruce Bacon, AASLD Foundation Board of Trustees, is here now to talk about all of the great work of the foundation in advancing innovative liver research. Well, thanks very much. It's a pleasure to chat with you about this. Um, over the last uh, 16 or 17 years, the, the ASLD has um, supported research and career development to the tune of about $40 million. And they are the largest uh, private, I guess the federal government in terms of their NIH programs are bigger, but, but there isn't any other program that's bigger than what the ASLD does to support research in liver disease and training uh, for people to uh, uh, take care of patients with liver disease. It's both of those things. It's both uh, um, monies to support research projects, but also monies to support people who can become the uh, mid-levels and, and the, young, the young hepatologists in the future that are going to be taking care of these patients with liver disease. Can you talk about that specifically, how that career development works and, and where those funds go? Sure. So there are, there are several different programs that the ASLD has. They have a, um, a sort of a high-end um, uh, basic research grants program called the Pinnacle Awards. Um, they have um, awards for nurse practitioners and physician's assistants, one-year training awards so individuals that have completed their education as an NP or a PA can come and well, can, can get a year's worth of experience uh, working with a, a, a hepatology program and then they can go off and be um, uh, providers of care. We also have programs for uh, transplant hepatology fellows uh, to support their year doing that work. We have programs um, uh, where, where medical residents, uh, so people in their internal medicine residency that may be interested in gastroenterology, hepatology, we have travel awards so that they can come to the meeting and come with a, maybe someone from their institution and go meet people and go to abstracts and presentations, those travel awards. And then we have abstract awards, people that are, that are doing research within uh, a university setting can submit an, an abstract and there, there, there is a competition and, and if they are deemed, if their abstract, if their work is deemed worthy, they can then um, uh, come, to the, come to the meeting and, and, and stand by their poster and, or give their oral presentation if such should happen. And this year, uh, 2016, we have set aside, I think it's just a little over $2.6 million uh, to support all of those programs. And that's about a $200,000 increase from last year and uh, about a $1.2 million increase from the year before. So we're on the upswing in terms of what we're supporting. So clearly you're getting a lot of donations and you're supporting so much. There's so many tentacles here. Is there a way for earmarking the money? Yes. Uh, if, it depends on how much you give as to how valuable an earmark is. Uh, if you give five dollars, the earmark isn't very important. If you give five million, it's pretty important. Uh, so we're supported by a, a, a group of uh, pharmaceutical companies, um, by individual donations, um, by institutional donations, by foundations. We're supported in a lot of different ways. So some of our founding members uh, of pharma when, when we solicited and asked them to become founding members of the foundation, um, of the ASLD foundation, we, we asked um, them what they wanted to support. Where did they want to put their money? Now that we're a little more established, we're, not, we're, we're asking that we be able to direct a little bit more of where, of where it goes because I think we have a better idea of where it needs to go now than we did two years ago when we first started. And what about for individual donors, if they want to get involved and they hear about all the good work that's being done by the foundation? So there uh, is a, a program, a gift of research, uh, that I don't have one of the little envelopes here with me to show you, but um, uh, individuals can go by the booth um, at the front of the Heinz Center there, and there's um, a booth that the ASLD Foundation has, and there's ways in which individuals, members, can um, uh, make donations to support these research projects. So, so Steve Flam has been the director of our development committee within the foundation, and, and he and his committee have worked to raise monies from uh, individual members of the ASLD, and that, I think, has tripled in the first year 
of, of what we're doing. So from not very much to three times as much uh, in um, a very short period of time. We're very, he's very proud of that and rightfully he should be. That's tremendous and all going to a great cause. Thank you so much, yeah, Doctor. You're welcome.